and welcome back to starting out in CNC. In this video it's electric time but I find I have to get out the drills and the dremel to get those wires threaded through. That's all coming up next. So that's kind of unfortunate. Um, what I've discovered, I don't know if you cast your mind back to one of the earlier episodes, there's a point where the guys recommend that you fit a, a limit switch onto this uh, before you make the whole assembly and, and put it together. And I followed the instructions and I said at the time there didn't seem to be anything specific about what you're supposed to do with the, with the cable. Rather than do it later, but I'm not too sure where the wire is supposed to go. You don't get to that part of the part of the manual to, until you're doing the electric, so I'm not too sure if it's in the right place or not. And it turns out that there's a hole in the plate directly opposite this that you thread it through. And unfortunately, the hole is the other side of the set of centre wheels, which means I've actually got the plate flipped over by 180 degrees. Now I don't think it's going to make a permanent difference, but it does mean I've, I can't, obviously I can't thread the wires through the hole that ain't there. So I'm just going to run them through underneath the plate and I'll just put a little dab of hot glue in there to keep them in there and then I can run them straight up behind the uh, uh, behind the drag chain and keep them in place with little cable ties as you're supposed to. When I'm doing these fiddly little small cable ties I found the best thing to do was to feed them up through the slot and then use a set of needle nose pliers just to get a grip on it and bend it over and feed it back round again. And then when you've got both ends available you can feed them through and tie them off nice and tight. Keeps everything together and keeps everything tidy and it makes much more sense to be able to do it that way. Took, spent ages trying to fiddle it through just with my fingers. A set of needle nose pliers is a much better option. Next up on the instructions is mounting the Duet controller board onto its backing plate. And note that I've already threaded a couple of cable ties through the plate before mounting it onto the board. Then the plate with the board attached can be mounted onto the CNC. And with the instructions to hand I can start wiring it up. Note as well that only the power supply needs to be screwed onto terminals like this. All the other connections are made by simply plugging a tiny plug onto a set of pins on the board. And the instructions are very clear about this and are colour coded so there's absolutely no chance of you making a mistake. So it turns out that the problem that I discovered with the plate earlier on where there's no hole in this side but there is in this I thought I could just run the wires down the base there, but it turns out that is problematic, so it's better to set it in. Now I'm never going to get a hole through there completely, but I'm going to have to cut a little slot in the base of that, and feed the wires through nice and tight. I'll glue them in there with some hot glue, I think, uh, just to get it so that they're, they're not potentially damaged by this. But that is, it's one of those things, um, I'll just very carefully I think try and drill a hole up through the base like this and then open that out into a slot and maybe get a little dremel in there but obviously the, the first thing I've got to do is to protect all this because I don't want any swarf getting in around these little wheels or anything or in around the uh, the switches so we'll get that all protected up Then we'll start drilling a, a hole and get the Multimaster out and see if we can enlarge that as a slot. And if all else fails, we'll get the little Dremel out. Or Dremel alike and use that to get these cables tucked away, just away from the, the base of that plate. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be in a position where I can start getting this board commissioned.
Okay, well that went reasonably well. I keep reminding myself that it is designed to cut wooden metal, so it must be reasonably impervious to uh, swarf and dust and whatever else. So, uh, anyway, the, the cables are fed through. Cut a slot, okay. Haven't done any other damage as far as I'm aware. And that'll do for now. Uh, we'll come back to commissioning the board another day. But for now, I feel like I've achieved something today at least. <laughs> Alrighty, well, this is the part which I've kind of been dreading deeply, deeply out of my comfort zone here. Uh, we've got the USB cable connected to the board. We're going to hook that up to my computer. And we're going to start typing stuff that I don't understand into something that I don't understand to try and make it do something that I don't understand. But hopefully, if I follow the instructions, we'll get everything up and running. Fingers crossed. Uh, there's not going to be much to see in this, obviously, because there's sort of you know, proprietary network connections and stuff, which I'm going to black out anyway. So I'll probably get back to you when I've either got some sort of success or indeed failure to report. But here goes. IS slash dev TTY full stop. Hmm. Okay. LS, not IS. Because it's Unix list. Alright. Copy the result that has USB in the name. Okay. You've got to read this really carefully. Because there's a space and then 11 5200. <laughs> Sorry, could not find PTY. I don't even know what that means. <sighs> okay, dokie, well, that was a little bit not fraught, but lots of trial and error. I was getting lots of sort of error messages. Uh, in terminal, which kept scrolling by, but I did eventually manage to connect. The syntax of the text you type in is very specific. Um, there are screenshots in the manual, you need to look at those because they show you where the spaces are. <clears throat> and early on, I was typing IS instead of LS because um, it not clear what it is, but it's much clearer in the screen grab. Anyway, uh, we are connected. We do have an IP address. So the next stage is to try and connect using the IP address that we've been given. So let's do that. Open a browser window. Type in the IP address. And there we are. The Duet controller software. Okay. Okay, this this is sort of success of a sort. So lots more of this to come. Uh, there's a whole load of downloading files and stuff, firmware updates to do. But let's let's continue to work our way through the manual. Click Upload under the Settings General tab. <sighs> Lots of hanging around. However, working your way through it fairly logically. Seems to be doing okay. <sighs> it's going to be a lot of fast forwarding in this bit. I presume I can unplug the USB now as well. Alrighty, uh, as far as I know, I've done everything that we need, and this is kind of moment of truth time. This is where we actually test this out. Uh, show the machine 10mm 
in the positive x direction by pressing x plus 10.